have a lot of photographers out here in the audience tonight. And I think we need to do a little something with photography. So this next sneak is Project See Through by Eric Key. Eric! I don't know about you all, but I take a lot of pictures, uh, like this one. I was in the car when I got this shot, and I think it's pretty good, but this kind's kind of messed up. These are reflections from inside the car. But it's okay, we can fix this. Open Photoshop, use generative fill. You know the fill's gonna work because the sky is smooth. It's just, it'll take a little bit of time and effort to get it all cleaned up nicely. So maybe there's a faster way. Yep. <laughs> Three, two, one, boom, reflections are gone. That's it. The AI has automatically removed all of the reflections from the sky, and it was definitely a lot easier than doing it by hand. So that was easy, but I know some people are going to say, hey, man, those reflections look kind of simple. And I totally get that. It's just that reflections are also kind of a common problem. So check out this shot. I got this one of my friend's puppy, and I think it would be difficult to clean this up in Photoshop. Look at all these detailed trees here. You could use Firefly, but that might completely change your photo, including the way the dog looks. So let's try cleaning this one up, too. Three, two, one, boom. Reflections are gone. Whoa. <laughs> The AI has automatically pulled all of those uh, trees out of the background and on the face of the dog, right? This is definitely much more of the photo that I was looking for. OK, so this was easy, but this time I want to be the one to say, I don't think those reflections are that difficult, because they're not that strong on the dog, right? You can still see his face. So let's try another one. I got this shot while window shopping. I thought these record players were kind of cool, but the reflection from the street kind of ruins this. In fact, I might even delete this photo because I don't know if I could fix that in Photoshop. Look at all these detailed edges here. These are the cobblestones in the street. So let's try cleaning this one up, but I want to show you something else too. This time, let's also save the reflection. Three, two, one. Boom, reflections are gone. The AI has pulled all of the cobblestones out of there. You can clearly see the record players, right? Definitely we can share this photo. You don't need to delete it. And don't forget, we saved the reflection. So here's that. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. So you can see all of the cobblestones and the umbrella and my shoes. Uh, seriously, though, uh, now that we've separated these two images, so here's the clean one, we can open them in Photoshop to edit them, recombine them, whatever you want to do in Photoshop. OK, so you've seen how we can rescue ruined photos and clean up reflections and even edit reflections in Photoshop. I want to show you just one more example today, because it turns out that reflections are more than just an annoyance. They can actually hide important content in your pictures. So check out this shot. I got this at a friend's house party. Reflection covers about half of the photo, but it's also really strong. Up here in the sky, you can barely see anything through that. But let's try it anyway. Three, two, two one. one, boom. <laughs> wow. Reflections are gone. The AI has automatically recovered all of the details of the beams in the ceiling and the window here, the dining table, and of course, most importantly, now you can see the subject clearly and without any distractions. And that's the whole point of reflection removal, right? By giving you control over when and where reflections appear in your photos, you can stop worrying about glass getting in the way. Thank you very much. Good job, Eric.